In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a report from multiple tables in Microsoft Access. Reports are one of the most commonly used features of an Access database as a user. Most of the time, you're not going to be creating databases and you're not going to be designing them and you're not going to be creating new tables in a database even though you can do that. However, most of the time you're going to be creating queries in a database and you're going to be creating reports from the existing data from that database. Now the reports can come in handy whether you're in a, a corporate environment where you have a corporate database or whether you have an access database but the concept is going to be pretty much the same. Since the tables are linked typically and the linking of the tables you can see it here under the database tools and relationships we have customers the customers have contracts and then for each contract there are invoices as well so it kind of all this stuff it's linked together however now in our case we can create a report from fields from the customers table for example first name last name and, and contact information and also include the contracts. So we want to see who our customers are, what contracts those customers have. So that's what we're going to learn in this session. So to create a report, you can go here under create, and then we want to go under this section here under the reports section. And we want to look here under the reports section. My suggestion if you're starting is to use the report wizard. So we click on that. And then we are going to pick some fields here from the customer's table. So we go, for example, if you wanted the customer ID, you can pick it as well. Click on add customer ID, first name, last name. And let's say we want just their telephone number and the email address. Notice you can pick only certain fields. Then you can also go here under the drop down before we move to the next step and we can pick from the contracts table from another table we can pick fields from that table as well because those tables are linked with primary keys and foreign keys so we go here under table uh, contracts and now let's say we want the contract amount and then the contract type so that's all we want in our case then we click on next since we are using multiple tables the system is asking us, do we want to group the report results by customer or by contracts? So in this case, uh, if you have a customer that has multiple contracts, you want all those contracts for that customer grouped together. So in my case, I'm going to choose customers and it's going to list me the customer and then a sub listing of all that customer's contracts. So that's what this is for. So you have customer up here and then the contracts will be listed right below it. Then we click here on next. And then, so what kind of levels do we want here? So we could say we want the customer ID, first name, last name, telephone, email, and then the contract information right below it. So then we click on next. And then how do you want to sort those? So we could sort those records and then you could also choose here the, uh, the report summary options and here you did say you want to see what the average is or what the sum of all the contracts was and all that type of stuff for each customer you can just choose here sum and the system is going to give you the total of all their reports for each customer or all of their invoices or contracts for each customer so this option is going to be available if you have numbers in there number values or amounts in there then we click on next and then it's asking us do we want to have the orientation as portrait or landscape and you can tinker with that and check it out but in our case since we do not have as many fields it's okay to have this portrait then we click on next again and then we have to give a name for this report so in our case we'll say customers and contracts or you could say contracts by customer now you can change this later as well but it's important to give meaningful names as you start with a report then click on finish and this is how our report will look like 
So this is kind of a preview. We need to kind of adjust it a little bit. Notice we have these amounts or dollar signs here and all this type of stuff. So we'll need to customize this in a little bit. So for now, I'm going to close it. Here to customize this further, we go under view. And uh, if you wanted a preview of it at this stage, you could do a preview, but it's not ready yet. Notice it's not quite ready with all of its stuff yet. We can go back here, close the print preview option go under layout view and we can adjust the layout of this a little bit so notice how we have the amounts here we could actually move this farther to the left so these would be the amounts and then we can resize this field then we can go and get also the description of what the contract is and then resize that as well how we want it to look then also resize other objects that you'd like here. Now notice, we'll assume here we know what the contracts are and such, but uh, notice that they are, the actual labels are here on the right hand side. I'm going to delete them for now just so that for simplicity, because we kind of know the amount here and also we know what the contract was. Now this over here, this is supposed to be the total for each contract because we had chosen the totals so this you might want to move it also right below the amounts area and then you know this you have here summary for customer id and then three records and such you could change the wording here now this it has some you can move that field closer and instead of just some you could say total and basically adjust the formatting any way you want uh, remember, you can also apply themes for this to customize it so it looks slightly fancier without you having to waste your afternoon with this. And then if this is not very useful, in your case, you can simply delete that specific field here. And then also remember that you can apply here the formatting. So let's say I wanted the formatting to be something uh, like the previous cells here to remove this border. And, and notice you can go under format. Take the format painter, apply it to another field, and notice it's applied. So that's an easier way to apply the formatting. And again, you can take the time to customize this and make it as fancy as you want. Of course, you can also adjust the labels here on the very top. You could uh, format that differently as well. And let's assume that you wanted these labels here on the top. You want them bold. You can, again, format them any way you want. Let's say that you wanted also the actual customer information, just the customer data, a certain font or color or whatever, you could format it however you want and it will make it more visually pleasing. So this is one way to customize this using the layout view. So if I close this and save the changes, by the way, you have to save the changes in Microsoft Access only when you're changing the design of something. Otherwise, it will save the data automatically into your tables or into your forms. So now if I open this up again, this is what it will look like. If I go to the print preview, this is what it will look like again for the print preview. Not bad. You have the customer 11 or 1115 here, whatever that number is. And notice you have all their contracts and also the total for each contract here. And you have also the footer for this page or for this report. Now, if you wanted to make this and make more changes in a granular format and such and go into more detail for tweaking the formatting of this, you can also use under if I close here the print preview you can use the design view and under the design view you can adjust here additional components for example the contact amount here notice it's not fully lined up I could adjust the size of it I could adjust the how much space is between the amounts and contracts and the total here and format certain things a different way and let's say between each customer, I wanted a little bit more space. I could adjust the spacing after each record and so on. Now, if I go and save this and run it again by double clicking on it, 
notice there's a little bit more space between each customer and the total and the prior customer's information. So that's one way that you can customize this and tweak this uh, further. As you're working with the reports and such, and we learned about this a little bit in a previous video, sometimes you might want to add a new field to the report. So for example, we have this report here, but for whatever reason, we wanted to also know here what the actual contract ID is for whatever reason as part of this report. So instead of us recreating the report from scratch, we could simply add one more field to this report, to this existing report. So to add the field, you could either go here on layout view and then under this area right here, add an existing field. You could do it from here and you could choose to add so right now it's showing us the fields from the customer table. However, we could choose all tables and we want it under the contract table and we want it, let's say the contract number. And we want that contract number at the end of the contract information area or wherever you need it. So we could drag it from here. It actually put it in the very beginning and place it basically wherever you need it, wherever you want it. I'm going to delete the little label for it in the top for now so that we keep our report slightly cleaner. Adjust the size of it accordingly, how you want it. Change also the font for it. And that's one way to display it in there using the layout view. The other way to display this field in there to add this field, and this is what you'll probably use in most business environments, is by using the design view. So if I go here to my report, I'll close it for now, open up the report again, and go under view, design view, or I could right click on it and choose design view. That's another way to do it. Now at this point, notice these are my existing fields. I have uh, the contract amount, I have the contract type. However, let's assume that right uh, next to contract type, I want to add another field. In this case, I go here under add existing fields, and I could add the field the same way that I showed a moment ago, and drag contract number over here. I want to delete the label for it unless you have a use for it at this point in this view, and probably don't need the number to be that long. And then that field at this point should have been added. So if I close it and run it, I should have the contract number at the end of each contract for each customer here. So at this point, let me explain how this data is actually linked to the, and how you control the linking of each field to the actual table. Because the data from the report is actually pulled from the tables. It's not really stored in the report. It's actually just at any time you run the report, it's querying, it's looking up the data in the table, and it's displaying whatever the criteria is that you had specified. Go here under design view. And if you go to any of these fields or the data fields here, so let's say contract type or contract amount and such, you can select the field and then just go under the property sheet. Property sheet it's going to do is it's going to bring up the property details for this specific field that we just selected. And then here it's telling us how it's going to format it and all that type of stuff. And uh, it's the contract amount that we have selected currently. It could, we could select any of the fields here we want to from this report and we could customize here any of the details, how we want this to be formatted basically. So this is just the formatting currently for this item. So we're controlling how the formatting is going to display for that value so far. However, if we go here under the data tab, the control source is where is this linked to? It's telling us what the source of the control to, what table and what field is it picking. So in this case, it's actually going to the contract amount from the contracts table. And if you click on the drop down, if for some reason you needed to link it to a different uh, field that you had selected initially in your report, you could just pick it from here, 
or if you want to link it to a completely different field that does not show up over here under the list of fields for your current report, you can click on these three dots and then go under your database that you have opened and you could link it to a different field within one of your tables. So for example, under contracts here, if I wanted to link it to the date or to another one, whatever it may be that I wanted, simply select it from here and then click OK and then run the report again and it's going to link it to a different control source from a different field on that table that you select. So that's how we can create a report from multiple tables and also group the results and create a calculated field for the amounts within each order for each customer and group those orders together. So that's one way to do that. So if you want to further customize this report and add or change the order of those fields and such, you can simply drag those fields by going here to the design view. So you go here under design view and let's say we wanted to change the order of those fields, you can simply uh, shuffle the fields around here. So this will put the contract number in the beginning. You can resize this how you want it. The amount, now it will be in the end. Also the total, we'll put the total on the right hand side at this point, right below the amount. Then you can readjust the spacing between them. And now if we close it, save the changes, run it again, notice we have the number in the beginning, we have the actual contract information, and then we have the amount on the right hand side. If we wanted to further customize it, in this case such as formatting and such, we can go here under view, layout view, and tweak this a little bit more. Use a format painter and click on the destination cell and it will apply the formatting of the previous cell that you had selected. Now if we close it, save the changes, run it again, now it should have been readjusted, the layout of it. If you want to see a preview of it, click on print preview and at this point it will show up like this. Of course you can customize this stuff and make it as fancy as you'd like. You can make the reports very complex. It's very customizable basically.